The House of Representatives is calling on stay of action on the embattled alleged jam cheat, Mesoma Ijikeme, by the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board on Tuesday. The decision was reached on Wednesday when the motion came up for hearing during the plenary. Plus TV Emmanuel Ehijene filed in this report as presented from our studios. The media recently has been awashed with news of an acclaimed 17 years old Mesoma Ejikeme Joy from Anambra State who was accused of allegedly falsifying a joint admission and matriculation board results conducted early this year. Recall that JAMB handed a three year ban on Mesoma, but this further drew mixed reactions from the general public a move that forced the House of Representatives to intervene. While moving the motion at plenary, Honorable Awaji Inombek Abiante said there was need to tread cautiously on the matter so as to allow justice to prevail for all parties involved in the controversy. I have watched painfully so, sir. Someone from the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board ascribing to itself the powers to accuse, the powers to investigate, and the powers to even prefer punishment without giving opportunities for fair, for fair hearing. Mr. Speaker, I have only come because I know that the person in question does not have the opportunity to sit here with us to be heard. She may also not have the opportunity to convoke press conferences like Jam is trying to do. Mr. Speaker, this is the parliament of the people. It is our responsibility to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Especially so that this person in question is a minor. Contributing to the motion, federal lawmakers called for an independent investigation since Jam cannot be a judge in its own case, especially as it concerns JAMB announcement on unilaterally imposing a three-year ban on Mesoma. JAMB's approach has failed the test of institutional procedure. JAMB has alleged a criminal offense, a very serious criminal offense of forgery. Forgery is a felony. And then JAMB at the same time, just like somebody stated, is also investigating this allegation of forgery without when there is when there is supposed to be a presumption of innocence. JAMB has also gone ahead to even punish the girl. I mean, come on, something is definitely wrong with that process. Some criminals created an app, and I will share it with my colleagues so that they will find out this girl was manipulated by some adults, some individuals, in order to take advantage of our talent to cash on the privileges that comes with the highest score in JAM examination. I believe this girl is innocent. With respect to this case, we must presume innocence on the part of the girls. At the same time, we must presume or assume that the jam, that jam has acted pursuant to the law establishing them. establishing them, given to them by the act of this parliament, an act of this parliament gave them those powers. We must presume that too. And then the other committee will look into all the facts and then come up with a solution or with a decision that the parliament will take. And this decision will take care of what Honorable Sada Soli said. The motion was adopted by a majority voice vote by members when put to vote by the presiding deputy speaker, Honorable Benjamin Kalu who immediately set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the allegation and report back in one week for further legislative action. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.